everyone. I'm Cassie Campbell from Brampton, Ontario. Thanks for everything you're doing over there, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the 20th of December. Bye! You know, you could have the stronger pe people around you, but if they're not willing to work together, you're not going to go anywhere and, and the world the same thing. You know, you could battle against anybody, even if you have the, you know, more people, but if you don't work together, you're not going to go anywhere, and that's what I think what we learned this year. The best part to me about getting to the Olympics is to see the other athletes. It's kind of the first time that you get together and you realize that you're not just a women's hockey team, you are Team Canada. Attention in that Canadian locker room. I walked in the dressing room and it was absolutely quiet and there was no music on and everyone was sitting and they were staring straight ahead and they were completely focused. And I remember thinking, okay, are they completely focused or are we nervous? I think I was the only one like stressed and panicking because I couldn't stop the park that day. I heard the story after afterwards. My parents were up in the stands crying. You don't have tickets to the bronze medal game. I mean, that was sort of, they were panicked. I remember saying, I, I've got to say something. This has got to change. I mean, this is not how we act in the dressing room. And I just said, guys, think of the challenges we've been through this year. I mean, it's amazing, and, and this is nothing. I remember Cassie standing up and saying, you guys, for some reason, we're getting these challenges just thrown at us and thrown at us, and we don't know why. We don't know why we're being challenged so much, but we are, and we're going to overcome it. What she said, I think, stuck, stuck with everybody, because it's true. We faced so much all year that we still have another period. Penalty against Canada will go to Jennifer Bottrell. Eight straight penalties against the Canadians. Five seconds to go. Four. Broken up by Bottrell. Canada wins the goal in Salt Lake City. This is maybe with about 10 seconds left in the game. Well, here it is, you know. These next 10 seconds are going to be pretty exciting, so make sure to enjoy them. It was the slowest 10 seconds I think I've ever witnessed. And as I saw the clock, five seconds, I thought, oh my God, we're going to win. And uh, so my first thought was keep the puck on the outside, that way they can't score. And then my second thought was find the goalie and jump on it. And we, you know, locked arms on the bench, like, oh, it's going to happen. And then it counted down and we just jumped and jumped and kept jumping for about a week. <laughs> Please stand for the national anthem of Canada. For us that were there in 98, it was... The worst feeling of our career was standing on the blue line hearing the American anthem and um, to hear ours and see everyone singing and see the flags going and um, it just it brings back so much pride. That would be the moment I would want just to stop in time and just kind of stare at the flag and listen to the anthem because it's the moment I've dreamt of since I was a little girl. And just saying thank you, like that's all I could say was thank you, I can't believe this has happened. I mean my favorite memory of all was uh, my teammates ahead of me and and I could see all of them getting the gold medals placed around their necks. The gold going around my neck was, see you later, I'm crying. <laughs> that was it. For us, it's, it's the realization of a dream that we're able to accomplish the highest thing in, in women's sport because there's, there's, not, there's no Stanley Cup for us, there's nothing else. It wasn't one person, um, it was everyone. And there was no question, there was no doubt in my mind we were going to win that game. You know, I'd like to think that there will be a lot of Great times ahead and special memories, but I don't think that there, there will ever be one that, that will be the same or, or quite as special as the one that I had this year in Salt Lake. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm not a lumberjack or a fur trader, and I don't live in an igloo or eat blubber or own a dog sled. I have a prime minister, not a president. I can proudly sew my country's flag on my backpack. I believe in peacekeeping, not policing. 
diversity, not assimilation, and that the beaver is a truly proud and noble animal. The tooth is a happy